Hey guys, and welcome back to the RPG Maker XP Tutorials, and this one will be um, covering mapping. So let's make uh, let's make some woods, actually. I'm going to start with a small map, the default size, which is 20 by 15. And I'm not going to worry about the BGM, because it's just going to be mapping. So if you look here, we have layers. Layer 1, Layer 2, and Layer 3. Layer 1 through 3 are the exact same thing. You have the same tiles, and... Um, I'll show you how they work. First, let's play some grass by pressing the paint tool here. You also have the pencil, which allows you to draw, and you can uh, have, draw a square or an eclipse or a circle. Or eclipse, did I call it eclipse? Whatever. I meant circle. Let's go with circle. <laughs> now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of draw like this, uh, this big, like, watery thing, river, I guess. You can call it if you want to call it river i'm gonna call it river um let's go with that so it's gonna kind of go across the screen here so again this is completely well i didn't say this so i don't know why i'm saying it again but yeah well you know how i work by now all right let me explain how the layers work um this is completely unplanned so bear with me there as you can see how you have we have all this stuff on the first layer and you can see if I put another tile, hey, what's going on? Why is there a big white square? That's because you're on. That's because you're replacing the tile on layer one. So if you go to layer two, you can stamp it just fine. So yeah. So once we're done here, well, let's go to layer two and start painting some little tree tops, which is this tile right here. Or you can do this one if you want to. But uh, I'm gonna. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one for now. What? Something. Why is my computer loading something? I don't recall asking you to load. No. Hmm. What can we do to make this look? Hmm. By the time this video is done, trust me, it's going to look pretty darn good. So. Buyer with my thar. Uh, you know what? Um, this needs to be on layer three. Oh, well, we're done drawing. How in the world can we replace? this already or you don't want to have to draw all this again do you it's simple hold right hold, um, go to the bottom right corner hold right click and drag to the top right or top left corner so go to layer three go to the top left corner and click and boom now you have everything pasted so we're going to erase layer two there we go and actually on layer two what we're going to be doing is placing these tree tiles like so But, um, let's see how that looks. But we obviously don't want it to look like that. So what are we going to do about that? Huh. Oh. Hmm. wonder how that would look. Nah. So we do got to, you know what, let's uh, kind of erase the top. No, because that doesn't look right either. All right, so again, this has been quite a while. Wait, just do that. It's gonna have to be like that. There, there, like so. And that creates that kind of look. But we obviously don't want it to look all oogly like that. So what we got to do is go back to layer two. Actually layer three this time. Like so. Hmm. Maybe this was a little harder than I thought. I don't know. I remember it being a lot more simple. Where you can actually kind of make the trees look like trees. Until. Hold on. What if. What if this one right here looks alright. Let's try this one. 
Come on, let's erase all these. Let's try this. As you can see, though, you got like that big empty space there. There we go. That looks a lot better. Looks a whole lot better, actually. Okay, hold on, let's do this. That looks so much better. You know what, I don't know what you were doing still there, but there. But then there's this problem. All I need to do to solve that is like do that, so. Should be good. And we need to, what is this right here? Now we still got like the chunk there, so what we're gonna do is one more up. That don't look too bad. You know, besides it looking terrible. Wait, what if we do that? Ah, perfect. Cool. That means we do this. All should be well. Perfect. Except we got like a chunk of tree there, but uh, I think to solve that, all we have to do is this and this. Perfect. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. Okay. It just takes you know a little time to figure out the heck you're trying to do with this. Just gonna kind of put another one right here. Yay! Now it's starting to look not so terrible. Cool. I knew there was a way I, that it could be done. Like I remember, you, I remember I used to do that. I'm actually gonna copy like that and like that. So we're just gonna kind of use this now. So now we're done with the trees, which actually looks pretty darn decent. Now we're gonna kind of make a path. gonna make a little bridge because bridges are awesome look at my bridge my bridge is amazing so to do that actually we're gonna make like a little log bridge because log bridges are amazing dagnet nah, dagnabbit there we go that don't look too bad so far so now what we're gonna be doing is making a bird's nest up here Oh wait, we can't do that, right? Watch this. Okay, I really don't know about the bird's nest, but it, um, really quick, um, if you want to place a layer four, you can actually do so by using events, by going to tile set, and you can actually kind of place a layer four. I don't think that's gonna look too good having a bird's nest up in there, though. It might not look too bad. Let's check it out. Oh, uh, we gotta have it on top. Um, oh, there we go. Always on top. <laughs> no, okay. I'm not gonna do quite right here. There it is. Our bird's nest is sitting there randomly. Which doesn't really fit the scene too much. What we are gonna do, however, is have a fireplace here on layer two, of course. Have it right there. Right there. Right there. Uh, we have a shadow problem. Want to fix that? Maybe, but that doesn't add up. So yeah, don't worry about the little shadows. I mean, it's almost unnoticeable. So y'all, let's want to add it there, but I'm not going to because potatoes. Anyways, um, we're gonna have a little fire here. We're gonna do stop animation. Uh, always on top doesn't matter. Where is it? So it's to be support. No. Oh, it'd be light. Okay. Right here, make sure it's on stop animation. And just make sure it doesn't do anything. So now I'll show you what that does. There's a burning campfire right next to a tree. Because it's logic. I don't... Wait, what? It looked like we were missing a chunk there, but oh well. Okay, you know what? No, no fire. <laughs> what we are going to do, however, is add vegetation. So go to layer two. Kind of stamp these little grass things around, which kind of remind me of sand spurs. Give me a bad memory, but hey. Nah. 
What's this? Oh yeah, this is like a uh, patchy kind of grass. We're gonna also add some of this. Just kind of add it random. What's this again? You know what? You could add these for bushes. Cool. Actually, no, you don't want to do that because then it's gonna like go above the player and it's gonna look all funky. Life for real life. What? Mushrooms? Yeah, mushrooms growing your trees. Why not? Let's go with it. The hardest part about all this is finding out what kind of design you really want. This ain't throwing your water, right? I don't know if they grow in water, but you know. We'll flower things. And bigger trees. Which you can add on layer three to kind of put it above everything else. Which there's no need to have these two things there or this one. Since it's not gonna be visible. It didn't look too bad, but uh we can do better, so let's do better. Tree stub, you can go here. And Oh, lily pads, of course. Hmm. You can have these little dirt rock things if you want. Try to put up as much space as possible, but without making it look like overkill, which I'm kind of doing. It's looking like overkill right now. Um, there are some things that you don't really want to have on a map, so you can use it for another map without it looking repetitive, but... Just for this example, I'm kind of trying to put everything I can. Oh, grass. Grassy. Who doesn't like grassies? Everybody loves grassies. <laughs> Alright, so there's our map. Doesn't look too bad. Cool. I kind of like it. I like how it, I guess it's like a green bush thing. As you can see, we can go through uh, across the bridge. We can go in the grass. I like that. It's kind of cool. Go behind the tree. Hold control, and you can float around anywhere you want. Wait, why is it looking like that? It the is it not? It's not counting like the bush things. Hold on, what the? Uh. We may have a problem. It's so fitting right there. And it looks... Oh, wait a second. It's that tile. Okay. So if you go to this one. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's supposed to look like that then. Alright, well there you go. There's there's the, uh, the map. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.